Hello! Today, we're going to learn how to find the sum of the terms of a given infinite geometric sequence, also known as infinite geometric series. I am Chardons and welcome to Math TV. Our target, find the sum of the terms of a given infinite geometric sequence. Infinite geometric series is the sum of all the terms of an infinite geometric sequence. I have here a sequence 16, 8, 4, 2, 1, and so on. Next, we have 1, 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 eight, and so on. Another one, 4, 2.4, 1.44, and so on. What do they have in common is that they are all infinite. Why? Because of the three dots at the end of the terms. It is called ellipsis, meaning the sequence will continue endlessly. What if we add up all the terms? 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 and so on. Next, 1 plus 1 half plus 1 fourth plus 1 eighth and so on. Or 4 plus 2.4 plus 1.44 plus and so on. It becomes geometric series. This is what a geometric series is. It starts as geometric sequence, then we add up all the terms. Again, from geometric sequence and we're gonna add them all up. That's what make it a series. Now, the question is, is it possible to get the sum of the infinite geometric sequence? Definitely yes, it is possible. The formula in finding the sum of an infinite geometric sequence, also known as sum to infinity, is S sub n is equal to A sub 1 all over 1 minus R. Where S sub n is sum to infinity, A sub 1 is the first term, n is infinite, R is the common ratio. Remember that the sum of an infinite geometric series only exists if R is between negative 1 and 1. Example number 1. Find the sum of the infinite geometric sequence 1 third 1 over 9, 1 over 27, 1 over 81, and so on. Solution? Given, we're looking for sum to infinity. A sub 1 is equal to 1 third, and R is 1 third. We get the value of R by dividing the second term to the first term. So, A sub 2 divided by A sub 1, and that is 1 over 9 divided by 1 third. Remember that in dividing two fractions, the first thing you need to do is copy the first given fraction, next, get the reciprocal of the second fraction, then directly multiply the two numerators and the two denominators. So, 1 over 9 times 3 over 1. That's the reciprocal of 1 third. We have now 1 times 3 is 3, 9 times 1 is 9, so it is equal to 3 over 9. Simplifying it, we have... One third. Applying the formula, we have S sub n is equal to A sub 1 all over 1 minus R, where 1 third goes to A sub 1 and 1 third goes to R. Sum to infinity is equal to 1 third divided by 1 minus 1 third. But what is 1 minus 1 third? Note that we can only proceed to subtraction if we have the same denominators. Any number divided by the number itself is equal to 1. Since the denominator of the second given fraction is 3, we're going to use 3. So we have 3 over 3 minus 1 third, it is equal to 2 thirds. Sum to infinity now is equal to 1 third divided by 2 thirds. The rule in dividing two fractions, copy the first given fraction, then change the sign from division into multiplication. Then get the reciprocal of the second fraction, and that is 3 halves. Now, you can multiply the numerators. 1 times 3 is 3. After that, multiply the denominators. 3 times 2 is 6, so the answer is 3 over 6. Simplifying it, we have 1 half. Therefore, the sum to infinity is equal to 1 half. Example number 2. Find the sum of the infinite geometric sequence 16, 8, 4, 2, 1, and so on. Solution? Given. We're looking for sum to infinity. A sub 1 is equal to 16, R is 1 half. We get the value of R by dividing the second term to the first term. A sub 2 divided by A sub 1, and that is 8 divided by 16, it is equal to 1 half. Applying the formula, we have... 
S sub n is equal to A sub 1 all over 1 minus R. Where 16 goes to A sub 1 and 1 half goes to R. Sum to infinity is equal to 16 divided by 1 minus 1 half. But what is 1 minus 1 half? It is equal to 1 half. So, sum to infinity is equal to 16 divided by 1 half. Remember, the rule in dividing two fractions, copy the first given fraction, then change the sign from division into multiplication. Then get the reciprocal of the second fraction, and that is 2 over 1. Now, you can multiply the numerators. 16 times 2, it is equal to 32. After that, multiply the denominators. 1 times 1 is 1. So, the answer is 32 over 1. Simplifying it, we have 32. Therefore, the sum to infinity is equal to 32. Example number 3. Express each repeating decimal as the sum of an infinite geometric sequence. Then find the common fraction equivalent to each. Letter A. 0 0.3333 dot dot dot. It means it keeps going on and on. We can write the decimal as a sum. So, 0 0.3 plus 0 0.03 plus 0 0.003 plus and so on. We have A sub 1 is 0 0.3, A sub 2 is 0 0.03, A sub 3 is 0 0.003 and so on. To find the value of R, our common ratio, we divide the second term to the first one. A sub 2 divided by A sub 1 and that is 0 0.03 divided by 0 0.3, it is equal to 0 0.1. Using the formula, S sub n is equal to A sub 1 all over 1 minus R. Substituting the value, our A sub 1 is 0 0.3 and R is 0 0.1. Sum to infinity is equal to 0 0.3 all over 1 minus 0 0.1. And that is equal to 0 0.9. Sum to infinity is equal to 0 0.3 over 0 0.9. To get rid of the decimal, we will multiply the top and the bottom to 10. So, 0 0.3 times 10, it is equal to 3. And 0 0.9 times 10, it is equal to 9. Now, we have 3 over 9. Simplifying it, we have 1 third. Therefore, the answer is 1 third. Another one we have... Letter B, 0 0.123, 123, 123, and so on. Again, write the decimal as a sum. So, 0 0.123 plus 0 0.00123 plus 0 0.00123 plus and so on. Your A sub 1 is 0 0.123. Your A sub 2 is 0 0.00123. And your A sub 3 is 0 0.00000123 and so on. To find the value of R, our common ratio, we divide the second term to the first term. A sub 2 divided by A sub 1 and that is 0 0.00123 divided by 0 0.123. It is equal to 0 0.001. Using the formula, S sub n is equal to A sub 1 all over 1 minus R. Plug in the value, our A sub 1 is 0 0.123 and R is equal to 0 0.001. We have now, sum to infinity is equal to 0 0.123 all over 1 minus 0 0.001 and that is equal to 0 0.999. So, sum to infinity is equal to 0 0.123 over 0 0.999. Now, to get rid of the decimal, we will multiply the top and the bottom to 1,000. So, 0 0.123 times 1,000 is equal to 123. And 0 0.999 times 1,000 is equal to 999. We have now 123 over 999. Simplifying it, we have 41 over 333. Therefore, the answer is... 41 over 333. Example number 4. Find the sum to the infinity. For letter A, we have 2, negative 8, 32, and so on. Let us first find the common ratio. R is equal to A sub 2 divided by A sub 1. 
or a sub 3 divided by a sub 2. Plug in the value, r is equal to negative 8 divided by 2, that is equal to negative 4. Or, 32 divided by negative 8, it is also equal to negative 4. Note that our common ratio, r, should be greater than negative 1 but less than 1. Since our computed value of r is equal to negative 4, therefore, the sum does not exist. For letter b, 3, 6, 12, and so on. Again, let us first find the common ratio. r is equal to a sub 2 divided by a sub 1 or a sub 3 divided by a sub 2. Plug in the value, r is equal to 6 divided by 3, that is equal to 2. Or 12 divided by 6, it is also equal to 2. Note that our common ratio r should be greater than negative 1 but less than 1. Since our computed value of r is equal to 2, it is greater than 1, therefore the series has no sum. Okay, now it's your time to practice. Find the sum of each infinite geometric sequence. For number 1, we have 4 plus 2.4 plus 1.44 plus 0 0.864 plus so on. And for number 2, 9, 3, 1, and so on. Number 3, 1 over 9, negative 1 third, 1, negative 3, and so on. Don't forget to comment down your answer so we can check it. Good luck! I hope you enjoy our discussion for today. See you again for our next lesson. Thank you, have a nice day, and God bless everyone!